Podcast, News 19, weather from where you live. Well, some patchy fog is possible tonight. Could be a little dense in some places. Now, here's our fog cast product. We'll go back in time here. Let me go forward past the weather notes right there because I wanted to get this clock to start at midnight. Here we are at midnight. Not much necessarily at that point, but as we go forward in time, notice by 7.30 in the morning, visibility in some places, especially along the Wabash River and here in our northeast, may drop just below a mile. There may be a few spots where it's under a half a mile, but the keyword's patchy. It doesn't look like a widespread dense fog event. And then the fog burns off with lows tonight anywhere from 32 to 34 degrees. So a little frost with that fog with partly cloudy skies tomorrow morning. And then for tomorrow itself, a partly cloudy around midday, but then it will gradually become mostly cloudy, then cloudy. Mid 50s for highs wouldn't surprise me as a warm front lifts northward that we may have an isolated shower or two in the afternoon and evening. Coverage is only going to be about 20 25 percent and be pretty quick, but there could be a couple of those around with southeast winds cranking up, becoming pretty breezy towards evening. So for the Purdue Iowa matchup. For tailgating, you're okay. Clouds will be thickening up 51. Now, by the time we kick off at 3.30, can't rule out an isolated shower or two. A lot of clouds around in mid-50s at that point. And there are highs area-wide tomorrow, anywhere from 54 to about 56 degrees. Now, Sunday, warm fronts north of us. It's nice and warm, but the rain is going to be coming in. So a lot of clouds in the morning will be in the 50s. But a strong wind all day. Winds gusting more than 30 from the south southeast at times. After a high of 60 degrees, the rain comes in, even a couple of embedded thunderstorms as well, with highs upper 50s to low 60s for your Sunday. Here's precision cast. Again, the fog burns off tonight. There are the clouds increasing tomorrow, and here's the warm front lifting northward. The winds will be gradually turning from the east southeast to more south southeast with time. Maybe an isolated shower or two the afternoon and into the evening. Then we might clear out for a while tomorrow night, but then we cloud up rapidly on Sunday. Here we are at 9 o'clock in the morning. A low rain coming in from the west, and then it's rain, maybe an isolated embedded storm, and strong winds around midday, and still some rain around early afternoon, but it will become more scattered later on in the day as a cold front goes through. But that front lifts back north as a warm front on Monday. So Monday will be in the 60s, but rain overspreads the area in the evening. And right here, this may be a squall line of storms. A lot of severe weather down here, but as this races northeastward, we'll be in the 60s on Monday night, Tuesday morning. So I wouldn't rule out an isolated severe gust or two. And then it cools off a little bit, but we're looking at another one to three inches of rain solid. From what we get not only on Sunday, but also on a Monday and Tuesday. 7 day forecast, normal highs 58, 65 Monday, 65, then falling on Election Day, windy, few lingering showers, 53 Wednesday, much colder Friday. Yeah, but not going to be too bad for the Purdue Iowa game tomorrow. No, not so bad, not yeah. so bad. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Chad. Okay. A city in Michigan.